Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Revex's video and let's take an adventure into the next route we'll be taking towards the anniversary. We'll I'll be talking about CG Ace versus the anniversary, which we don't know about yet, of course, but we can speculate. So we have Ace here who has everything he needs. So 150% amp, of course. It's not locked to anything, I believe, because he's not premium. Because his vision card isn't that great. So that gives me an indicator. Eight times cap. So if you don't know what an eight times cap is, basically every every unit in the game has four, uh, 400%. And some units have an extra 100%. So you need another 100% to get 600 times. Or 600%. And true dual wood units typically have 600% already in their passives. I say that typically. Some of, so One in particular does not. But anyways... And then there's an extra passive now, which some units have, that gives them an 8x cap, which makes them quite powerful. Got some killers, 45% throwing weapon in peril, which was really interesting because usually only premium units have this high of an in peril, but uh, he has 45% throwing weapon in peril, so very good. 300% magic true dual wield. He's got some imbues, and then the main thing that he was being used for in the uh, JP version, at least with someone else, it says Tornado Chaining, which can be 570 times with Neo Vision Awakening on Unite. So, pretty good. And then his leader skill is 750% for Blessing of the Crystal units, which is not that great. <laughs> really? So, we're going to be talking about that. Let's get into it. So, he only has 50 times mod. So his SLB isn't obviously going to be used for damage. His, his obviously his real damage is coming out in his all his abilities and things like that, and then his um his his leader skill is not going to be the most you know the best leader skill of all time, especially on global. Uh, you're really on on JP you ran two of him because then he gets he gets both lightnings uh, well, both aces not not lightning both aces get the same leader skill bonus of 750% attack and magic and then no it doesn't really matter what what else but on global I'm not sure if you guys are going to care about that all that much because you can't bring two aces in, in Clash World or Dark Visions which most of you guys care about pretty much from what I see in the comment section and I see in my discord uh, no one really cares about trials on global I mean I do but uh, so he's only going to be good in certain situations for his leader skill. And Blessing of the Crystal is kind of a failed category pretty much because we move, we move right along to Liberation in the in the near future. Liberation is the meta in terms of 750% because Lightning is on it, the OG Cloud is on it, you know, those kind of things. So we'll have to see how this develops on Global, but I just don't think it's going to be as valuable. So moving right along. 750% or 7, 7, 7, 7.5 out of 10. Apologies for that. I'm, I'm so used to saying percentages. This is not a percentage, technically, in this situation. So, I think I've answered your question. I think I've answered the question if you should pull for Ace or Anniversary. I think it's a pretty safe bet to skip this and just continue to save for Anniversary. But, we still have one other unit to look at. Well, actually, one other onion after this to look at, so let's move a light right along. Oh boy, I gotta fix that one. That's messed up. Anyways, we have an unlockable HP and MP heal that's quite powerful. I've used it. Um, typically, we don't need that kind of HP and MP heal anymore, but it's still pretty good. Especially in Clash Wolves, I think it'll be pretty decent because once you unlock it, uh, all you have to do is just use it her other ability which unlocks the new ability uh, it's actually going to be pretty helpful in Clash of Wills with a lot of damage being taken so pretty good especially with as there's going to be any more MP draining bosses this will be pretty good as well so she also has some killers that are not locked EX level so very nice and those are for everybody there's a 100% LB field effect um, so if you don't have Cecil or you don't want to bring Cecil I guess that's good as well she also has a separate 100% stat buff field effect, and also she also has a 35% fire, ice, and wind, and light amp field. So she has some fields, and so that's pretty good. 
Her 100% amp is locked to an EX2 for some reason, even though she's not premium, and 100% amp to one ally is not amazing anymore. <laughs> when we have at least two characters now that can do it for everybody. Uh, her LBS LB buff is not that useful for stat buffs. It's only 300% attack and magic, or it's just full stat buff. 300% LB damage buff, I guess, is okay, but would like to have seen 350. And her damage, you're not expecting her to do damage. Seriously, her, her damage kit is so bad. Uh, don't even worry about that. And we're gonna go to an extendedly large score screen for some reason. And I'm not sure why it's like this, but 6.5 out of 10 is like is fair. She's not premium, but she has the amp block to EX2 for some reason, and she's just a nice little buffer with field effects. Nothing that Global will really care too much about, but the healing is quite nice. I did bring her for that, and I, on a few on a few occasions I did bring her for that. So you guys know I have to I have to conclude the video with that collaboration unit. We got to talk about it at least a little bit for new players. So let's go. Let's get into it very quickly. All right, let's look at it very quickly here. Tmar is terrible. S Tmar would have been nice like a million years ago, but uh, we're not we're not in that situation anymore. She gets 500 flat spirit, big deal, and then she gets some morale scale attacks. And basically, what this all boils down to is she's just like a worse watered down. Sylvie, like the five star version, pretty much. So at least she has this, and it's available every single turn, pretty much. So it's really good for new players because you'll be able to get her to EX3, EX3, EX3 for free, and she can triple cast all abilities. So you could use Chill Out every single turn. Other than that, I'm not really seeing anything. She's a free unit, but she's like really bad for a free unit. In in most cases, like. At least some free units, like you've been looking at some of the free units that came out recently. Uh, at least they had a semblance of, of something. Here, it's just a watered down Sylvie, the five star version. <laughs> I don't have to keep bringing that up, but like this is literally only good for like extremely new players. Like even if you've only, if, even if you've been playing for like a few months, this unit is not even going to be useful to you. It's going to be a, a box filler. So I don't know. I, don't, I wasn't expecting anything. I was. I, I already said in my news video. I was already expecting the worst, and then here we are. It's not really that amazing. Like chill out is her best thing that she's got, and that's not good enough. <laughs> so, if you guys want to justify this unit being good, go right ahead. But I'm not seeing anything. 200% stat buff and a regular ability. Like, who's who's doing that? So really, this is really only good for new players, and that's fine. For the rest of us, it's a box filler. So that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Sice is pretty good. Check her out. New Vision Awakening. Uh, she is the third three star, which you may have sold a bunch of. So hopefully, you watched my JP video a long time ago and you saved up a lot of Sices somehow and made her. So that being said, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Appreciate you guys always watching. Make sure to stay uh, subscribed if you are not subscribed. And if you want to help support the channel, click the join button. I'll see you guys in the video. Peace.